FFA Student Handbook, Section 2, Premier Leadership. Part 1, The Basics, Our Structure. Similar to the U.S. government, the National FFA Organization has three significant levels to its structure, local, state, and national. All three levels work together to provide FFA members with opportunities to experience premier leadership, personal growth, and career success. Local FFA Chapter It all starts here. As an, as an FFA member, you are probably most familiar with the heart of the organization, the local FFA chapter. The chapter is where everything starts. It is where members like you first become interested in FFA, start your supervised agricultural experience, and learn about ways to get involved. FFA chapters can be chartered in any public school with an agricultural education program. Each chapter has an advisor, parenthesis, an agricultural education teacher, parenthesis, a chapter officer officer team, and a chapter advisory committee, in addition to the school administration. Depending on the state, local FFA chapters may be located in a section, district, area, or region within the state. This struck often for the purpose of organizing career and leadership development event competitions before the state finals. Some states have officer teams for their sections, districts, areas, or regions. Tip. Check out your state FFA Association webpage for more information. State FFA Association part of something bigger. The State FFA Association comprises all of the state's local FFA chapters. State F associations are operated by the State Department of Education and the State FFA Advisor and the State FFA Officer Team. State operations can be coordinated by State FFA staff parenthesis, executives, executive secretaries, or coordinators, parenthesis. Each state FFA association functions within the constitution of the national FFA organization, but they also create their individual career and leadership development program for members. State FFA associations are responsible for hosting state activities and competitions, and the state FFA convention, where issues concerning that state's association are voted on by delegates representing local chapters. National FFA Organization, making it all possible. With nearly 650,000 FFA members and thousands of chapters in all 50 states, Puerto Rico, and the U.S. Virgin Islands, the National FFA, FFA Organization has a strong presence as the largest student-led organization in the nation. The National FFA Board of Directors and the National FFA Officer Team work together on matters of policy, long-range strategy, and fiscal site for the organization, and the National FFA staff implements their recommendations. The National FFA Center in Indianapolis, Indiana, houses the staff of the National FFA organization. Before being moved to Indi Indianapolis, the National FFA Center was located in Alexandria, Virginia, on land that was once owned by George Washington. The original 28 and a half acres were purchased in 1939 for $8,500 as a site for a leadership training school 
and an FFA camp for FFA members visiting nearby Washington, D.C. A wooden barracks building and a dining hall were built for the campers in 1941, but by 1950 those buildings were being used by the, by the FFA Supply Service and later the National FFA Future Farmer Magazine. The National FFA Center building was constructed on the Alexandria property in 1958 and the FFA Supply Service and the magazine staff moved into the building. In 1996, the National FFA Organization announced its decision to move to the National FFA Center from Virginia to Indiana, and just two years later, the National FFA Center opened in Indianapolis. During the building's dedication on July 20, 1998, FFA officers deposited soil from every state and from every former National FFA Center in Alexandria at the base of the new center's flagpole, signify signifying unity of purpose. The staff at the National FFA Center is focused on engaging students supporting advisors and telling our story by growing leaders and building communities and strengthening agriculture. They mission. The National FFA organization looks to its mission as it develops programs and creates opportunities for FFA members. FFA makes a positive difference in the lives of students by developing their potential for premier leadership, leadership, personal growth, and career success through agricultural education. As you move forward in your FFA career, look for ways you can develop premier leadership, personal growth, and career success by participating in career ship development events attending camps and conferences, taking part in chapter activities, and working on your supervised agricultural experience. FFA Salute The Pledge of Allegiance is the official salute of the National FFA organization. To properly recite the salute, face the United States flag, place your right hand over the left part of your chest, and hold your hand there. Repeat the following pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. FFA Motto Learning to do, doing to learn, earning to live, living to serve. Each time FFA members repeat these words, their meaning becomes new, fresh, and inspiring. Can you believe that this motto dates from the early 1900s? It was written by Leighton S. Hawkins, a pioneer in vocational education who began teaching in 1904. He started working in the agriculture department at a New York high school and became the New York State Director of Vocational Education and was later asked to head the Federal Board for Vocational Education. He was responsible for hiring very men who helped form the Future Farmers of America. One of those men was Charles Homer Lane, or C.H. Lane, who recommended Hawkins' work as the official FFA motto. Pondering Thought What do the FFA mission, salute, and motto mean to you? FFA Colors National Blue for the blue field of our nation's flag. Corn gold, golden fields of ripened corn. FFA emblem, 
The history of the FFA emblem goes back to 1926, when Henry Grossclose was working on the Constitution and Bylaws for the Future Farmers of Virginia. He was inspired by, by drawings of an, of an owl perched on a spade that he found in materials from a Danish agricultural organization. Working with R.W. Klein, then a graduate student at Virginia Polytechnic Institute, Grossclose made some substitutions and additions to the drawings, resulting in an emblem very similar to the one used by the National FFA organization today. The five symbols that make up the FFA emblem represent five individual aspects of the National Ethnal FFA organization. Together with the words agricultural education and the letters FFA, they tell the story of the organization's history, mission, and vision. Cross section of an ear of corn represents unity. Whether you live in Maine, Hawaii, Alaska, Puerto Rico, or one of the other states in between, corn is grown somewhere in your state. Corn signifies unity, and from the first Thanksgiving feasting feast on, it historically served as the foundational crop of American agriculture. It is appropriate that the cross section of an ear of corn be used as the foundation of the FFA emblem. Rising signifies progress. Just as the industry of agriculture has developed new technologies and evolved to meet the next generation of consumer demands, the National FFA organization has continued to evolve as it looks to the future to meet FFA members' needs. The rising sun signifies progress and holds the promise that tomorrow will bring a new day shining with opportunity. Plow signifies labor and tillage of the soil. The National FFA organization is founded in agriculture, the backbone of our country. The plow signifies labor and tillage of the soil and the historic foundation of our country's strength. Eagle represents freedom. The eagle is a national symbol that reminds all FFA members of our freedom and our ability to explore new horizons for the future of agriculture. Owl represents knowledge. Long recognized as a symbol of wisdom and knowledge, the owl symbolizes the knowledge required to be successful in the industry of agriculture. Agricultural Education and FFA The words agricultural education and the letters FFA are emblazoned in the center of the emblem to signify the combination of learning and leadership necessary for progressive agriculture. The emblem and letters FFA are protected by trademark registration in the U.S. Patent Office and by Public Law 105-225 by the 105th Congress. FFA Creed A creed is a statement of belief. One of the longest standing parts of the organization, Edward Milton Tiffany, or E.M. Tiffany of Wisconsin, wrote the original FFA creed. Delegates adopted it at the Third National FFA Convention in 1930, the creed was revised in 1965 and 1990. However, the basic values and beliefs that are intact remain on a solid foundation for the organization's principle. Today, we continue to use this third version of the FFA creed. 
I believe in the future of agriculture with a faith born not of words, but of deeds. Achievements won by the present and past, and past generations of agriculturalists in the promise of better days through better ways, even as the better things we now enjoy have come to us from the struggles of former years. I believe that to live and work on a good farm or to be in other agricultural pursuits is pleasant as well as challenging, for I know the joys and discomforts of agricultural life and hold an inborn fondness for those associations, which even in hours of discouragement, I cannot deny. I believe in leadership from ourselves and respect from others. I believe in my own ability to work efficiently and think clearly with such knowledge and skill as I can secure and in the ability of progressive agriculturalists to serve our own and the public interest in producing and marketing the product of our toil. I believe in less dependence on begging and more power in bargaining, in the life abundant and enough honest wealth to help make it so for others as well as myself in less need for charity and more than when needed in being happy myself and playing square with those whose happiness depends upon me. I believe that American agriculture can and will hold true to the best traditions of our national life and that I can exert an influence in my home and, and community which will stand solid for my part in that inspiring task. FFA Official Dress FFA members get several chances throughout the year to show their pride in the National FFA organization by wearing their signature blue jackets. Official dress certainly causes members to stand out in a crowd. At the same time, it also, also allows members to be on an even playing field when participating in various FFA events and activities. Official dress worn by FFA members at local, state, and national activities gives the organization an identity, a sense of pride, and respect. Whether your jacket was passed down from an older brother or sister, borrowed from your chapter, or is brand new, you can make it look its best by wearing the complete FFA official dress. Official dress for an FFA member includes an official FFA jacket zipped to the top, black slacks and black socks slash nylons or black skirt with black nylons, white colored blouse or white collared shirt official FFA tie or official FFA scarf, black dress shoes with closed heel and toe. Note, official garb of wrecked religions may be worn with official dress. Proper use of the official FFA jacket. Because the blue corduroy jacket is the most recognizable symbol of the National FFA organization, there are several recommendations for proper use of the official FFA jacket. Only FFA members have the privilege of wearing the FFA jacket. Jackets need to be kept clean and neat. The only items on the back of the FFA jacket should be the large FFA emblem, the name of the state association, and the name of the local chapter, region, district, or area. The front of the FFA jacket should have only sm the small official FFA emblem, the member's name, one office or honor, and the year of that office or honor. FFA members should wear their jackets 
at all official FFA occasions and any other occasions where the chapter or state association is represented. Members can wear their jackets to school and other appropriate places. Members should wear their jacket only to places that are appropriate for FFA member visit. Members should not put their school letters or the insignia of any other organization on their jacket. No more than three medals should be worn on the jacket. These should represent the highest degree earned, the highest office held, held, and the highest award earned. All medals should be worn beneath the name on the right side of the jacket. Exception, a single state FFA degree charm or American FFA degree key should be worn above the name or attached to a keychain. Jackets should be discarded or have their emblems and lettering removed when they become faded and worn. Members should act professionally when wearing the official FFA jacket. Members should refrain from use of tobacco and alcohol when underage and at all times when representing FFA. FFA members should discourage others from inappropriate behavior when they encounter substances including tobacco and alcohol.